Okay. Not here. Mm. Not here. Oh God, man! Every f***ing day. What? Every day. Is it really that bad? Yeah. Did the? Oh, I'm yeah. not even gonna guess. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna guess. You'll guess it, and it's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike seems more chipper than he should be. He's like, hey, we'll get this fixed up. I was like, um, let's go take a walk. Okay. Ninety-five percent of our business is tables. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole factory that's set up to support making tables. Yep. And we used to be able to run tenons on the M&T. That's also broken. Yep. We can't cut tenons right now. This whole area is just useless. Not a lot of activity going on over here. No. Oh. That is supposed to look like that. That's very hard to fix. Oh. So hold out these bolts from here. That's kind of easy to fix. We could put like inserts in there and stuff. I don't know how you fix that. That's just broken. That like ripped out. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how this happened. I was with Bobby talking about dice. So what does this actually do? This is just a stop. The rail comes up here, here and just gets clamped. Stop. This is the clamping mechanism. Got it. There's a lot of pressure. When it's running, there's a lot of pressure this way and there's a lot of pressure that way. Yep. So it can't be like a rinky dig thing. It's been almost like a month now. We haven't been able to do rails at full capacity. At full capacity, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. I was hoping to take an early day today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, you still could. What are you gonna, what can you even do? Ah, uh, we're gonna get Mike, and we're gonna get Dougie, and you we're gonna talk it. about what we're gonna do. You forgot to get a fudge bar. Yeah. yeah. We should go get one. Who's running it? Nate. Nate. So he came to me and goes, uh, something bad happened to the tent there crashed. What happened? So it looks like the blades didn't come on. Yeah, they did. I said, well, that's what happened. <laughs> it sounds like a machine malfunction. Because that shouldn't happen. So a non-spinning blade tried to cut a tenon, basically, and it pushed it off? Yeah. Yep. Just the culprit? Yep. Oy. So there's two things. A, we can't do fuck all until this is fixed. And B, we might get this fixed 100% and we have a malfunctioning machine. I don't know if I want to try and run this and stuff until this is shored up. This is easy. We'll figure this out. Piece of cake. So this pulled those threads right out. Yeah. So that, this pisses me off. This is like, called pot metal and you know like matchbox cars yeah that's what they're made out of it's like the shittiest cheapest metal you can get that's what this this casting is made out of oh, usually a machine like this is cast iron maybe cast aluminum definitely not pot metal so this got stripped right out so we can drill a bigger hole tap bigger threads there's not a lot of meat here there's not much there it's not gonna be as strong as that and that no. broke the problem is when this guy loads, he's got these two loaders. They load it up and then they push really hard into the stock while the clamps go on so it's nice and tight. Every single cycle, it's just getting like slammed very hard. Sure. I'm also worried this is like half broken. There's not really any way to know that if this is compromised and it just didn't quite break yet. Yep. Due to the fact that you think that side might be compromised from the crash, we have enough room under here to put another bolt in the middle of both of these. We do have the room for it. Yeah, so Mike's talking, put a third bolt in. I guess we gotta start working. Yeah. That doesn't even disconnect right yeah. there. Hey, what's up, Doug? You want the bad news or the bad news? <laughs> the tenoner is crashed and broken. Pretty bad. <laughs> it's a pretty tough fix. I think there's a lie. Doubt or you know, the, the, the I guess so. Not out of whack. <laughs> like, so you're heading to the hospital. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doug's in the hospital? I guess Lyndon may have broken his leg. Oh God. <laughs> All right, you got this, Mike. The entire company is resting on your shoulders right now. Well, the entire company is resting on my shoulders. Do we want it to where we can work today or do we want it to where? I want it to where we can Troubleshoot today. I can have it. We're at today. Rail production. Let's go. 
A few moments later. Hi, man. Where are you getting all these popsicles? Rainbow. So what did you do? I added a bolt for now, just so we can get everything together and tight, and then run some drag cycles to see if we can see if there's something bigger that's a problem that we don't know of yet. You guys want popsicles? I'm good. Good? Wow, those glasses were cool. This is for the intricate work. Hey, hey, oh. Hey, it works. What is this, Windows 98? 1982. <laughs> I don't think it goes back that far. <laughs> oh, are you doing that? I got my fishing reel. <laughs> yeah. Spin it forward, it goes forwards. Go backwards, it goes backwards. This is so you can test tool paths without running them so you don't crash it. It's called an MPG, it's a micro pulse generator. All right, second test, good. Okay. All right, so we're gonna run it, we'll see if the spindle turns on. That's good. Three for three. Three for three. It's like an air pick. Just like the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's cut one. You want to press that button when I tell you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Press it once. One time. Looks like a 10 in. No. So, doesn't fit. No? Oop. It's gotta sit all the way. But you can see it on the back. Being held up right there. Oh, uh, like barely. Yeah. But I mean overall. Could have been worse. Yeah. Just have to figure out a way to secure that better. Go we'll out to the hardware store, see if I get some uh, M8 Healy coils. Drill out the other two holes, then we have three strong bolts in there. Okay. Get going a little bit if you get those Healy coils in. The next day. <laughs> no suspenders today. Come no. On. But I am still bald. <laughs> Jason McDonald in his natural habitat. Out of conference. Yeah. Jason's comfort zone is when he is stymied and frustrated. You're in your comfort zone. Uh, Jason called me last night <laughs> and told me that we were once again having issues building tenons on our rails. Give me an update on where we are. So this got ripped off. Oh, the grippy thing. Yeah. Oh. It like ripped off a chunk of the machine. Oh, okay, just a little chunk. It's still broke though, this whole thing was flopping around like. Yeah, yeah. it's like. <laughs> oh. You know when someone breaks, they like fall and then they get up and their wrist is like, <laughs> what? And, and you're yeah. like, oh no. That's what this machine looked like. Yeah. Okay. It looked like Lyndon's leg. So, yeah, how's Lyndon doing? Oh. The swelling went down. So it's just dying off now. It's not, <laughs> no, he still, still can't put weight on it. It's been like four days. So we put another bolt in. Okay. So what is, what is, I mean, right now, it looks great. It That's, looks great. I told yeah. you we ran, we made a tenon. So, a well, okay. Let's call, let's, uh, what do they call it? There's a word for this in the real world. It's like root cause analysis. Yeah. Sounds like it's because the spindle did not run. Have we diagnosed why that spindle has is 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 no. is dumb? So no, I don't know how to run the tool path without the spindle on. So I don't know how that happened. So we can't even attempt to recreate this bug. 
Because no. we do not know how to even do that. No. Nope. Hey. Not an operator error. Hey, I made it in time. It's even better. Now there's more bolts. I know. The machine is stronger. Yeah. <laughs> the only question is like, is this gonna happen again? No. We don't know why it happened in the first place. Lack of prayer. If we had prayer in the workplace, this never would have happened. Just yeah. saying. It's just a dumb joke. <laughs> you can cut that one out if you want. Whatever our repair is, we should make it so that if this crash happens again, we know where it's going to break. What we don't want to do is reinforce this so much that when it crashes again, it doesn't break this, it breaks the spindle. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's going to break at the weakest link. Yep. We should know where the weakest link is. And then if it breaks, then it's like, oh, well, we know how to do that repair. So, there's a chance it's a software issue, but then it actually could be a physical, like, wiring connection issue. I guess you'll find out as soon as you start to try to run it. I mean, obviously you'll dry cycle it. Okay, so. Oh, it ran fine. Okay. While it's running continuously, sorry, this is probably not great worm life content, but I, I, I'm interested. As it's running continuously, do the spindles just always run that entire time? Yeah. So once they fire up, they just keep going. So Nate crashed it on like the first part yeah. of a new cycle. The first part. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, that's good. So this is an, something an SOP can actually potentially handle a lot of. Okay. Five minutes later. We're making a new thread. Are Remember, you, Matt, you did some tapping with me? You gonna do that again? We are, but a different type. Okay. These holes got ripped out as we explained. There is the thread that we tap. This screw is harder than what this white metal is. Yeah. And ripped it right out. So that's cast iron in there. No, that's cast like white pot metal. Nice. <laughs> so there's two options. We could drill this out and put a bigger bolt, but that's a lot of work. I gotta take this off and cut this relief bigger to put a bigger bolt in there. Or you can use a thread repair kit, also known as a Haley coil. It basically looks like a spring. So you drill out the hole bigger, you tap it with this bigger tap that comes with it. And then this screws in, which gives you this hair, that's what that one's done. And then you can take the same size bolt, put it back in. Are you confused? Yeah. I'm very, I'm very confused. We're gonna take this hole, we're gonna make it bigger. I understand that. Yeah. That so far sense. I'm good. Then we're gonna tap it bigger. And then we're gonna tap it bigger. So now if we tap it bigger, it won't fit our original bolt anymore. So that's okay. where this comes in, it fills in that extra slack. Oh. So then you... It's like an adapter. Does, this. So does, does this match this? Like, this matches the outside of that. The inside matches our bolt. Oh, 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 it's like so a sleeve. It's like an adapter with that little thing. Uh, but, Healy coil. Yeah. Did you know about this? No. I didn't know about this. Go so, here, take all the stuff. <laughs> So all we need is just get rid of the thread, tap it a little bigger. Tapping means to cut the threads. So you can see it cutting, little pieces falling out. So do you lubricate this at all as you're doing it? Typically you can't, you're supposed to, like if we're going into scale, absolutely, because you'd be worried about the tap breaking. But since this is pot metal, it's so soft, there's no need. Okay. How's it looking? Good, we're ready for a Haley coil. Ooh. All right. Oh, I see. One sec. This is clever. I was wondering what. See the. See how that has a little. Um, a little J hook. The J hook fits into here, so you can drive it. So here we go. Spin it in. There it is. Wow. All right. Well, Brand new. Look see. at that. So now you put the bolt in. Yeah. Oh, it should fit. Perfection. One sec. Yeah. Yeah. Boink. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's really strong. Yeah. Stronger than me. That's all you need. Yeah. All right, Ian, did you learn anything? Yes. I did too. Yep. We're fixed. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. No. Ready for the next crash. Yeah, this side. This side's coming. This next. side. Yeah. This side. Whole thing. Yeah. All right, Matt. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you had fun. At least one of those things happened. Ooh. It was the fun part, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs>